Welcome to You Be The Judge, where the objective of this show is to put it out there and let you be the judge. I know everybody got their beliefs, but don't hate on mine. Now check out this content. I'm just getting paid. I do this every day. What's up with the y'all? Iceberg Green in the building. So today, man, oh man, we are in trouble. Oh, man, I don't know if y'all been watching what's going on um, with that Republican National Convention, but they bought out the Hulk. They done bought out uh, Kid Rock. Uh, they had Amber Rose. Oh, my goodness. This is incredible, y'all. He said trump mania What the fuck is that? I'm telling you, I'm, I'm to the point. He said he can't keep his mouth shut. I can't either. I can't no more. Biden, whoever, y'all fucked up. See, what y'all did wrong, y'all didn't get behind the black people like you should have. See? See what happened when you um, don't prioritize your uh, fan base? You know? We your fans. You didn't take care of your fans. Biden, Kamala, whoever else. Black Caucus. Y'all didn't take care of y'all fans. Keep it real. And now, you have an uprising. And I have to say, how long do is Trump going to wear that damn thing in his ear? I understand you went through, you went through, but it, it don't take that long to heal. They done made a fashion statement out of it. See what I'm saying? They're making a mockery of the whole government. They are. And the Democrats didn't put their stuff in a good position so the people can back them and say, hey, we're not having that. Honestly, they all in the same boat, just throwing each other off. All of them. They're riding in the same boat, you know? And that's that slave ship they all got on. Yeah, yeah. You see the connection? Yeah, they had to, yeah. And now they like, oh, my goodness. They finna come colonize us. Yeah, see? Y'all don't let them them Trump people and... Oh, they didn't got a they didn't got an uprising, and all they gotta do is sit back. That's crazy. Usually they be all this rhetoric and propaganda. They don't even have to do it. The Democratic Party have put themselves in a position to where um, they don't even trust themselves. Who's gonna run? Who's gonna do? And honestly, I I hope Gavin Newsom get in there. He was the one who pushed for reparations. Remember that he pushed for that movement. Yeah, so I hope he get in there so he can pass some laws for black people because that's really what it is. They can say what they want, oh, this group, this group, oh, no, nah, no, nah, it's over for the Democrats. They don't have the right fan base. They got a bunch of bootlicks as a fan base and people that don't understand what this black America really needs. You know, people can tell you, oh, it's for everyone, but we've been doing that for a long time. And there's nothing wrong with focusing on your people specifically. And I understand people, <sighs> there's this thing with America um, being for everyone, which is true the land of freedom, and so forth. But when you put in the most work to make that dream possible as a people, as a collective, we were the ones putting in the work to make this whole American dream possible. We were part of that. We took a, a we played a major role in that what, what democracy or uh, freedom and rights and all, so all that stuff. You see behind me, man, Some from civil war to civil rights. And these people in the Democratic Party know this. They know what we've been through, and they never really just came out. We've never had someone come out like Trump and be like, yeah, these are make America great. Well, who do you think he's talking about? He's not talking about black people. He's talking about his people. When he come out in oh, every one of these damn speeches and say, make America great, make, he's talking about his people. When we come out, I hate, when the Democrats come out, they don't do that. It's everybody. Kumbaya. And the people that's been supporting them for 40, 50, 60 odd years, they just sit back like, damn, when are you going to call us up for the show? You call these other bootlegs, these uh, these other uh, immigrants, these other groups, uh, this, that, and the third. You never come out. We need somebody like Trump in there for us, though. They all are, you know, serious. Because he's serious about not only America, I guess, but psh, as much as he lie, he's serious about his people, too. And that's what we need. We need somebody, <clears throat> black American, that's going to get in there and shake it up like Trump. And you got to think, we make this world turn. Black people, I'm telling you, you can, they can say what they want about this group learning and this group buying them this. But we make this world turn. Black Americans make this thing turn. Always have. So without us, <clears throat> which the Democratic Party had, and they're about to lose their seats. They're about to lose some seats in there if this happened the way we don't want it to happen. But... Technically, there's a chance it may happen that way, y'all. So just brace yourself. That's what I'm telling you. We're about to deal with some people that are um, overzealous. They are going to be extremists. They're going to do whatever. And the thing about with me, I knew, I know, excuse me, I know what to expect when they get in office. 
I know that they're going to be totally against what movement. We're going to have to come together as a whole, as a collective. We're going to have to really come together, black people, on this one. Yeah, all that stuff y'all talking in this this group that I don't like them. I don't, no, we got to come together in, in order for this to work. Because right now we're we're uh, at a grasp of losing everything that we've been supported for 40 odd years. From everything you can think about from back in the time. We are about to lose a, a grip on that. And they're going to go back to this whole Confederate type of thing. I'm telling you. So we got to be careful. You know, and while this is going on, everybody's turned this into a, a media frenzy. You know, our lives are at stake right now. Our well-being, our kids' well-being. This is serious. If they would have just stuck to the script and said, you know what? I said all this stuff from the time of all these lynchings, from the woman that he let live, when Emma Till, all, all the stuff from the people in Oklahoma that didn't get there. All the stuff that he could have did, George Floyd police and that all the stuff, black hate crime bill, all the little tangibles that he could have did that would have got black people like, okay, that's progress. He did none of those things. No one, no one stood up. They'll go to these these um, conventions and stuff and they'll talk about, oh, I did this for black people. And when you really look at it, what are the specifics? Can they give you numbers? They say, oh, well, we created this many jobs. What are they basing that on? If you, if I, In my community, where I'm from, I don't hear the same... You know, I don't hear those talking points. Oh, I just got a better job the other day. Oh, I just, no, I don't hear that that much. I hear it's hard to get a house. I hear it's hard to get a good loan. I hear it's hard. The bills is going. That's what I hear. I don't hear this, uh, oh, I am I got my loan forgiveness for HBCU. I don't hear that. You know, I hear that child care is still hard to uh, get. I hear that women are still paying uh, thousands of dollars for uh, health care and to, to help uh, raise their kids and keep them, you know, it's a lot. And they still redlining with these Section 8 vouchers and all that stuff. They st and these are the Democratic um, tangible, you know, things that they can fix. You know, they can actually fix these things, but they never do. They, they it's like I'm telling you, they go in there with it. And I'm, I, it's like you don't know which way to go on this one. If you're, you know, someone that understands politics in the world, period, what's at stake right here? I'm talking about, I ain't talking about for the Republicans, Democrats. I'm talking about for black people. We got to come together, man. I'm talking about for what's at stake for us. I, them, they, we already see what's at stake for them. They fighting for money and power. They ain't fighting for us. It's money and power in that, y'all. Just remember that. They not fighting for us. Never. So with that being said, excuse my lighting, y'all. I, I gotta get that damn light fixed. But I've been watching it, man, and I'm, I'm just letting y'all, this is my message, y'all. We got to be careful, man. We got to be careful and watch your back. If these people get in here, they're going to get, they're going to get, ooh, extreme. Trump a maniac? Oh, man, wait, man. Oh, my goodness. <sighs> yeah. I'm Iceberg Green, man. I'm out of here, man. It's this cold, though. I, I, this ain't it. This ain't it. Okay, so I just put it out there, and you be the judge. Again, I'm not going to hate on your content, so don't hate on mine. All right, y'all. I'm just getting paid. I do this every day. Hey.